Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, during recent decades, our planet has faced a number of rapidly growing sustainability challenges. Certainly, among the most disturbing of these are the climate change and the loss of biodiversity. It is estimated that one third of all species, that is, all life forms, on the planet are under danger of extinction. This is dramatic and a threatening situation even for humanity itself. Governments try to act on their own and in international collaboration through uh, institutions like the United Nations. The Intergovernmental Climate Panel, IPCC, and the new Nature Platform, called IPBES on Biodiversity and Sys Ecosystem Services have been created by the United Nations Environmental Programme to meet the needs of action. But dealing in a responsible manner with these enormous issues is very demanding indeed. The scientific problems are nothing less than exceedingly complex and research of the highest quality is needed as a basis for the important priorities that have to be made. The question is then, how can governments and international institutions make the best priorities when so much new knowledge is still needed? Against the backdrop of these developments, the board of the Royal Norwegian Society of Sciences and Letters here in Trondheim has decided to reach out to the international scientific community in an effort to stimulate relevant research worldwide, a new international research prize named the Gunerus Sustainability Award has been established. The research field of the award is specified to be biodiversity. The award may be given to one scientist or shared between two or three whose research is judged to have distinct impact towards the sustainability of global biodiversity, often referred to as biological conservation. In a biodiversity context, the sustainability concept refers to how biological systems remain diverse with intact ecological function. For humans on Earth, sustainability is the well-being of the present and future generations, including the environmental, economic, and social dimensions. Sustainability science is therefore a synthesis of different disciplines. Hence, a science award in this field will have an interdisciplinary focus. To adjudicate the nominations for the prize, a five-member scientific committee of outstanding scientists has been selected. The members are from the US, Joshua Ginsberg, from Finland, Ilka Hansky, from Canada, Kit Kovacs, from the UK, Sir Gillian Tolmy Prams, and from Norway, the chairman, Professor Eivind Reskaft from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. The award amount is 1 million Norwegian crowns, corresponding roughly to about 190,000 US dollars. The deadline for nominations is November 1st this year, and the award will be conferred upon the winner or winners on April 17th next year. Uh, we wish to announce that research academies, universities, research institutes, university professors are welcome to nominate for this new prize. And remember the deadline, November 1st, 2011. The award ceremony will take place here in Trondheim in our concert hall, Olavshallen, in a fine ceremony during Technoport Awards. Let me also explain why we have chosen the name of the award as the Gunnerus Sustainability Award and why it is natural to establish it here in Trondheim. 
The Royal Norwegian Society of Sciences and Letters celebrated its 250th anniversary just a year ago. The founding father of the society was Johan Ernst Gunnerus, who lived from 1718 to 1773. He did his main scientific work in the description of living organisms on land and in the seawaters of Norway. And he wrote the first Norwegian flora, Flora Norvegica. His legacy is still very much felt here in Trondheim, the city from which he led the society. And it is precisely the long-lasting legacy of Gunnerus which has made Trondheim known for its science museum and made it the center for management of wildlife and for nature research in our country. It's also quite clear that precisely this legacy is the very reason why the world's first minister of the environment, Olaf Järvold, came from Trondheim and was a member and former president of our society. The Norwegian minister of the environment, Erik Solheim, often refers to Trondheim as the biodiversity capital of Norway due to the strength of relevant organizations, institutions in this city. Internationally, Trondheim has also become a stronghold due to uh, a number of important follow-up meetings after Rio 1992. A key person here was Peter Johan Shea, former director of the Norwegian Directorate for Nature Management here in Trondheim. In the future, Trondheim will also host one of the secretariats under UNEP, serving the IPBES panel or platform, a development we welcome wholeheartedly. These days, Trondheim and the Trondelag region show a strong political will towards green economy and technology. And the Technoport organization with whom we collaborate closely is gaining more and more strength as a platform for sharing possibilities for greener technology and economy. We expect also that in the future the government of Norway will support the Gunnerus Sustainability Award and thus help promote research for a greener, sustainable development worldwide. Thank you.